Now, often in movies, we'll have pandemics, and I'm always impressed with what takes place. Let's look at an example of this rapid response. Well, that's quite impressive. We don't need the music, but otherwise, we saw exactly what should happen. An outbreak's detected very quickly, literally within days. Uh, Doctors are dispatched. Uh, They have a helicopter to get into exactly ground zero. Uh, They go in there, and they've, they've got the right tools. And this is what should happen when an outbreak is spotted. But... We don't have that team. We don't have those resources. And if if an outbreak took place in a low-income country, it could be literally months before we started to orchestrate those resources. So despite what you see in movies, there is no group of experts standing by to prevent this disaster. So we have to create a new team. I believe we should create what I call the GERM team. Uh, GERM stands for Global Epidemic Response and Mobilization. This group is full-time. Their only priority is pandemic prevention. The cost of this team is significant. It's over a billion a year uh, to support the 3,000 people who would be on this team. And its mission is to stop outbreaks before they become pandemics. And so for all of this, the first 100 days are key. Viruses spread exponentially. And so if you get in there when the infection rate is fairly small, you can actually stop the spread. You know, in this epidemic, if we'd been able to stop it within 100 days, we would have saved over 98% of the lives. Now, we did have countries that did a good job. Australia is an example. They orchestrated diagnostic capacity. They came up with uh, distancing policies and quarantine policies. And so their overall death rate per capita will be well less than a tenth of other countries. But we did not, as a world, uh, contain it. And that's what we have to do next time.